Thank you for tuning in to the first video overview for The Living. Today we'll be discussing the core mechanic of the game itself, the skill system. The Living is a tabletop role-playing game, or RPG, which is a social game of imagination and creativity. You help tell the story through the actions and dialogue of a character that you create. Central to that character creation is the selection and use of skills. Skills are nearly the entirety of what defines your character. In the living, which is set in the post-apocalyptic real world, there are no races to choose from. Everyone is a human. There are also no classes into which your character is locked. There are also no modifiers. So, how strong your character is, how fast they can run, how accurately they shoot, or how well they notice things, those are all tied into skills. Every action you make that has a chance of failure is rolled using a single d20. If your total for the roll is 9 or lower on the die, then whatever action you are attempting fails. A result of 10 to 14 is considered a minor success, and 15 to 19 is considered a major success. A 20 is a critical success where there is some additional benefit, and a 1 is a critical failure where something bad usually happens. Some skills provide a boon, lowering the minimum needed for a minor success from 10 to 5, and therefore doubling the major success range. Certain effects cause a loss, which raises the minimum to 15 instead, therefore eliminating the major success range altogether. Blessed rolls allow you to roll the d20 twice and pick the better result. Cursed rolls force you to take the lower of the two. There are eight core situations that necessitate the roll of a d20. Attacking, coaxing, evading, resisting contagion, resisting fear, using stealth, performing a stunt, and exhibiting tech mastery. Just what effects if your roll ends up blessed or cursed with a boon or loss? Primarily, your skills. Skill trees make up nearly the entirety of character advancement and development. There are nine skill trees available. Athletics, Charisma, Combat, Driving, Medicine, Resilience, Resources, Tactics, and Technology. Each is divided into four branches, and each branch consists of five levels. By attending games and accomplishing noteworthy deeds, you gain skill points with which you can purchase a new skill or higher levels of current skills. Some skills and branches provide passive benefits, such as bonuses to d20 rolls in certain situations, added health, or greater accuracy for attacks. Others provide active abilities, such as overriding computers or overpowering foes. Bonuses provided by skill levels do stack with one another and are calculated by total. For example, purchasing athletics, which is speed, levels 1 and 2, provide an extra 2 squares of movement per round, one for each skill level, not 3. You begin play knowing 2 or 3 skills, depending on your background. If you have any flaws, you can begin with up to 2 more skills. There are no character levels. So, as you gain experience, you get additional skill points to either increase your current skills or learn new ones. And that would be the overall breakdown of the skill system. It is a very organic system that allows you total control of the kind of character you want to be.